Hey Luxury, Sean here. Uh, let's give you a little small demonstration. I'll do it from my iPhone and I'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, so basically what you do is you open QuickTime or you can go to the little search tab up here. This little search here, boom. Uh, you punch in QuickTime, it should pop it up here. So you double click on QuickTime. I'll go to my other screen here. So this will open up, you can hit done here. Okay, and what you wanna gonna do is you can choose to screenshot your whole screen you can actually do a portion of your screen i always do the full screen so you're going to come up on here files in quicktime new screen recording okay and then <clears throat> what you got now it is record um well on my mac here you have this recording here you can do recording but on upstairs on my other computer there's like a little camera here so you put the camera wherever you want on this screen this screen or that screen up there wherever screen you want and you just hit record okay boom record and then it's recording now um, to know that it is recording this little dot will be up here well this little dot here okay so now we are actually recording the screen so uh, you could um, if I would have um, brought QuickTime to this screen it would have been recording this screen you understand so there you go so now we're recording the screen you can bring anything else you want to it you can bring uh, Let's just say this was Jay's, like, it was my emails, but let's just say this was Jay's uh, book map for his screen. You can drop that in. I always do that in for book map for the ticker that I am uh, that I am uh, trading. Um, and if you, when you want to stop this, well, then you just hit this little button up here. Boom. And then it, this is actually your screen. So you can preview it. You can say play. But right from here and there, like right here, it's directly saved. Uh, we can save it if you want. So you hit file up here. File. Save. And you can give it a name. Let's just say blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I want to save it to, uh, let's just say, your desktop. Okay. Boom. Save. Now it's saved to your desktop. Um, and then uh, when you want to, I don't keep it on my desktop because it's 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 a lot of memory being used for, for, for nothing. So what I do then is I just uh, open I open my YouTube page. Oh, sorry, my YouTube page. I'm gonna go with this one here. Got mixed up on the screen. Sorry. I uh, go here, YouTube, and then I uh, load it directly. And I'm gonna actually send this to you, so it's gonna be live. <clears throat> you want to upload? Oops, sorry, what was in the button I want to do? to just use like as Firefox oh what the hell is going on here let me just get out of here reload it YouTube <clears throat> Hey, why does this do this? You know, just hit skip. Sorry, usually I usually use this on my laptop upstairs. Oh, there we go. This is the file. This is what we usually get. Sorry about that. So it's like your file. I'm going to go to my desktop. My desktop. Because that's where I saved it. And here's that file. You double click it. And it uploads. Now it's being uploaded to YouTube. And then you can give it the title you want. Okay. So we'll just call this um, For Lux. Okay. It's for you. Uh, you have to scroll down here and put um, your audience, not for kids. And then next. And then I usually put, always put it unlisted because I don't want like all my viewers like to get a notification. Usually I keep it private or unlisted. And then you hit save. And then it's going to process for you. It should be very quick though. And that's about it. And as soon as this video is done, I'll get this out to you.